Hello everyone, my name is Miss Allegra and today we will hear a story about Malachi. Now God uses Malachi to tell the people what would happen when they started making wrong choices again. Our Bible story is from Malachi 1 through 4. Can you say that with me? Malachi 1 through 4. Now the Jewish people were home in the promised land. They had worked hard to rebuild the temple and fix the walls around the city. They did an amazing job. Can I see you give me a thumbs up? Great! Now the people were ready for God to bless them. They waited and waited and waited, but nothing happened. They wondered if God really loved them. God did love his people, but they had been doing wrong things, and God wanted his people to obey him. So God sent the prophet Malachi to talk to his people and gave Malachi a message. Ooh, what do you think the message said? It says that the people had been doing wrong things. The priests were supposed to make sacrifices to God. God deserved the best sacrifices, but the priests offered sacrifices that were not good. The priests were supposed to teach the people about God, but the priests taught things that were not true. Can you say, oh no with me, oh no. Then Malachi gave a warning. He said that a day was coming when God would judge people on earth. God said, I am going to send my messenger and he will get my people ready for me. The messenger God was going to send would have a big job. Now, can you put your hands out as wide as possible? Wow, so Malachi, now can you draw an M with me? Great job. Now he was the first messenger God sent to warn his people and help them get back on track. Malachi told about a second messenger named John the Baptist, who God was going to send. Can you draw a letter J with me? Like this, for John the Baptist? Awesome job. Now John had a very big job. He would tell the people about God's very special messenger who was going to come. He had to help get the people ready for this final messenger was God's son, Jesus the Messiah. Now the Messiah God promised to send to rescue his people. Can you point to one of your hand palms like this and then to the other to help remember the third messenger in the Bible story was Jesus. Great job. Now all of these messengers were going to help God's people. They were doing other wrong things too. What else were they doing wrong? Well, they forgot that everything belongs to God. So when God would bless them with money and wealth, they kept it all for themselves. Can you hold your hands out like this as tight as possible? When God asked them to share with others, can you open up your hands? Great job. Now they were supposed to share with others and then they would receive even more blessings. The people even said things that were not true. They said that serving God is no good. That other people who did not serve God had better lives than we have. Is this true? No. Now, can you shake your head no? Good job. A day is coming, God said, when everyone who does not obey will be punished. The people would see that serving God is good. People who honor God will be happy. Now, do you remember what our big picture question is? It says, does God keep his promises? Yes, for God is always faithful. We have learned from all of our Bible stories, from Queen Esther to Nehemiah and now Malachi, that God is always faithful. Now, it's time for our memory verse, so I need you to stand up on your feet. Here we go. His mercies never end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Lamentations 3, 22 through 23. Let's say that one more time. His mercies never end. 
They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Lamentations 3, 22 through 23. Awesome job. I have loved teaching you today's Bible story. Are you ready to pray? Let's sing together. Open and shut them. Open and shut them. Give them a little clap, clap, clap. Open and shut them. Open and shut them. Fold them in your lap, lap, lap. Dear God, thank you for always keeping your promises, for always being faithful. Help us to trust in you, God, and know that you are always with us and that you are for us. We love you, God. Amen.